everyone, this is your boy KP aka Rude Boy. Okay, today I just want to do a simple program, show you how I resolve this program, and that's to reverse a link list. When you're reversing a link list, all you're doing is switching the memory link information that resides as one of the node members. So this 200 would become null since I'm reversing the list oh, yeah. this null null here would be would come here null here would become here um, this 100 is gonna go here this is gonna go here and this is gonna go here and head would become whatever this node is. Head is going to become that node, the last node. Okay, now we have to. I through trial and error, I found out that I needed three pointers. I needed one to hold the link member information, one to update the link member, and one to hold. The node memory location. This I put put some fictitious number here just to uh, make it simple. Okay, so here I have my three nodes. Link pointer. I set it to head, so it's pointing here. Current node is set to head, so that's pointing here. And next update is carrying the node member link information the node link member information however you want to say that so I initialize these as seen here link point is pointing to head node current node is pointing to the head node and next update point is pointing actually pointing to the second node you need that next update would be my I call it my advancing pointer my link pointer would be my um, my mid pointer, whatever, something like that. My uh, well, and then my current node would be my trailing pointer. This one right here. Okay, now we get into the while loop. We use a I use a while loop. I set the condition. As seen here, if it's not equal to null, then we go do this. But we, this is not necessary. Since I'm using this break to break the loop, this is not really necessary because the condition is actually tested. The condition to break the loop is tested inside of the loop, not, not by the while statement. Okay, so let's go through the and see what's going on a little bit okay since this we have this information stored in our advancing pointer then we have the head information these two pointers sitting over here at this node we can go ahead and now make the changes in the first node so this just becomes no since that's going to since we're reversing the node and nodes the link list and it becomes null using this statement here if current node is equals head then just change the member next I use next some people use link but in school I think you learn next use the next member in the next word alright and that becomes null so this gets executed the first time around and it's only executed one time right link pointer which is pointing out the first node gets updated using the next update using my advancing node advancing pointer the link pointer or follow up pointer I call it is now pointing at the second node my trailing pointer current node is still over pointing here this condition is not going to be we'll talk about that afterwards this is a special condition it's only get, going to get executed when we see this node when we get to this node 
So my next update. So since we're sitting here, it's time to work on this node. Next update gets this information, gets the, your link member information. Next update holds that information. So the next update gets pointed here. Now we have to update this, which we use the link pointer which is sitting here to access this member. And we access this member and set it to whatever current node is. Current node is on 100. So current node gets pushed here. Once that's done, we have to pull current node to the second node. So current node becomes link pointer. So current node and link pointer is pointing to the second node. Now time to move on to the next node. And link pointer becomes next update. So link pointer gets moved from this node to this node. Link pointer uh, cut, um, next node we save this member link information into next node then we update it so 200 become it goes here using link next update equals link pointer that next it's saved there link pointer operator next equal arrow operator next equals current node so this gets updated to this 200 is comes here and then current node since we're done with this no longer need this node current node is pushed to the third node the next node in line I should say because you may have millions of nodes and then we go over again and since uh, current node is sitting here link pointer is sitting here and and um, next node is sitting here at the last node in my list this list here we go around again and link point equals next node it comes sits here mm, next update equals link pointer so next update is now null link pointer operator next we update this information equals current node remember current node is still over here so 300 gets put into here and current node equals link pointer current node pointer the trailing pointer gets moved to the last node in my example here now once that's done we go over, over the loop again link pointer equals next node link pointer is equals next node which is null so link pointer is null so this this statement, this block of code here gets executed if link pointer equals null, which it now is then head, that means you're at the end of the list then head equals current node head, remember you have to keep this head um, information that just is the memory location of your first node in the list that must, that is a must when you're dealing with linked list head now gets this inf this node information this 400 so head is now 400 once that's done we break break the loop program ends okay let's see the pro actual program so here is the reverse program here I use while one since we're not using the while loop to test the condition because we're using this a this if statement here to do that to test the condition to break out of the loop in this program I just put an insert function a print function and that's the reverse function um, this is the data that I'm going to put into each each link or each node which is a simple number that gets put into the data portion of the node and I call these function a few times print reverse print this is how I created my link list I added a node at the beginning of the chain 
So I'm chaining here, but I'm adding the node at the beginning of the chain. So head is constantly being updated in this example. This is my print uh, statements here. This just prints out the nodes. And this is my reverse block, reverse function. And this just prints out, um, this uh, reverses the nodes. And then again, we just call the print function, which shows that the node is been reversed. All right, let's check it out. There we go. 6, 500, 400, 300, 200, 100. That's the data. In, and now that it's reversed, it's now 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. And that's how you go about reversing a list. It would just take me too long to type it out to show you and all that. I'm not too savvy with uh, doing these recordings. Um, so hopefully you can just type it out and just practice that way and try to figure out the flow by yourself. If you don't understand how to reverse a list, type it out, try to follow my, um, my logical drawing here to show you that what's going on and perhaps you can get it. All right, thank you very much for looking and have a good one and happy times coding. Bye.